Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And on this channel, we do vintage and thrifting and creative projects and more. And today's video is gonna be a really fun shop along looking for epic rock and roll inspired 60s and 70s vintage. Today, I am taking you to the Wild Vintage Collective. Now, you may have seen a video by Laura Caldwell. She did a video there. So we are heading over there. It is north of Minneapolis in the Twin Cities area. This shop I have been to before, before they opened a full mall. Um, I went to just Wild Things Antiques, about the same location. I'll be sure to link that below so you can see that video as well. And today's video, we are going with a mission. So I am updating my, my wardrobe, my summer decor, and I am looking for pieces inspired by Daisy Jones and the Six. Now, I loved the book. I am so excited for the TV series. So today, we are going specifically looking for some like fantastic vintage hero pieces to add to my wardrobe. We unraveled a long time ago. We lost and we couldn't let it go. Now, this is going to be a mini series on my channel. The new mini series on Amazon Prime has just come out. Super excited about it. So there will be a couple more videos in this series and you'll get to see all my finds and how I update my wardrobe for the spring. Okay, enough babbling. Let's get into the wild mid-century vintage. Right off the bat, we are getting the vibe. Seeing vintage clothes right away, I am seeing so many possibilities. This is going to be a great day looking at vintage. I love this belt. Right in the front door, there was a Christmas section, and you know I still had to look around the vintage holiday items. Yeah, how, how could you not? How neat are these little horse bowls? I have never seen those before. There is so much vintage clothing here that is absolutely on the vibe. My only complaint is that many of the sellers did not put the measurements on the tags and to be uh, plus size inclusive, body inclusive, I really would have liked to seen more measurements on clothing so I know better what would fit me. I actually had this very picture. Uh, my mom made it for me and it was in my nursery. Oh, 
O and we found the kitsch, y'all. You know I couldn't uh, go shopping without finding some kitsch. <laughs> These are so wonderful, and honestly, I think they were priced very reasonable for how well done they were. Some of these booths were just so gorgeous. And wow, they set such a tone, right? And look at this gorgeous Italian lamp. Wow. Okay, at that price point, I'm gonna need to back up. <laughs> There was lots of clothes to go through, which is exactly what I'm looking for to refresh my spring wardrobe. I love this piece. I had something very similar in tan that I thrifted in college. I wore it all the time. I have never seen this little girl before. She's really neat. Very large figurine music box. Loved that piece. I would love to get a tooled leather purse for my spring wardrobe, but these are just a little more than I want to pay. The vendors do an amazing job staging their booths. I did notice that a lot of items were priced very high retail. And this makes sense though, if you have really stunning items and you want your booth to still have that mid-century feel, you're gonna price a lot of the really eye-catching pieces high because you want them to stay in the booth. Uh, getting customers in the booth is worth them staying. looking for the tans and the faux fur and the denim during this trip. Those are really what I'm going for in my hero pieces. Also tooled leather. I love how these wood beads look. This outfit is perfection. Love that collar. Mm -hmm. 
Now this is the first time in the store that I actually found some plus size. Um, that was really nice to see some items that I could for sure fit into. I wish there were more areas in the store where I could find plus size clothing. This vendor had so many pieces I've never seen before. I've never seen this piece before. I didn't even know who made it. Oh, it's McCoy. Wow, that's lovely. Oh dear, look at all of these. I really loved this bag. I did feel it had a little too much wear for my taste though, but that is cool. I did try this piece on, but the shoulders are too narrow. They're for somebody much smaller than me, but man, that is a reasonable price on that. So gorgeous. This vendor had so many pieces that were exactly what I was looking for. And this piece is probably my most favorite piece I have seen all day. Look at the patches. Wow. If that fit me, I would have snapped it up in a heartbeat. I really love this piece. It was very soft and cuddly. I really love the pattern on this shirt. It wasn't my size and it didn't have a dagger collar. But I decided to grab this one and try it on. It just is so cuddly and the colors are absolutely perfect. Trying it on, it doesn't fit as I would like it to. It is a little too tight in the arms and I just think it's a little too snug. the glowy goodness. Ooh, and some more Kitchmas. I've never seen that set before. I almost bought this for resale. I think it is gorgeous and quite the deal. 
they had so much glass here just really stunning pieces i was really impressed things i haven't seen before and doesn't glass just look wonderful in a window This piece is killer. Loved it so much. Ooh, look at this styling. Is this faux leather or real leather? Ooh, I think that's a real leather. I love that piece. All kinds of vintage clothing. Again, my only complaint was a lot of the tags did not have the measurements of the clothing on them. This room is amazing. Look at that fringe. Look at all these great patterns. And look what I found. It is awesome Brown's dagger collar. And this should fit me. Oh, this is exactly what we came here for today. Yes, this is perfect. What do you think? <laughs>I love these decoupaged flower purses and boxes. If only this had a kitty on it. love the patchwork look on that. That is super groovy. I am such a sucker for a cream sweater. I have like a dozen of them. I just, I love them. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, I love the shape of that. That is neat. Oh my gosh, that is an amazing price. And this place even had a rockin' coffee shop with all kinds of groovy places to sit and have a good cup of coffee. I mean, look at this. What a great hangout.
I got to chat with the barista. <laughs> he was very nice. And this place is just so groovy. I love it. This piece is also another piece that I absolutely fell in love with. It isn't my size, so I did have to leave it there, but that is amazing. Ooh, I love this lady. Yes, the girl I love. She is stunning. And we're gonna end out the video with some cute kitsch. I can't help it. I always love the kitsch, especially the kitties. <laughs> oh, aren't they adorable? They look like the Aristocats. And this piece, oh my goodness. It is ginormous. This is a really tall piece. I think I am in love. Wow. But for that price, it's gonna have to stay there. So I did find some incredible pieces to add to my wardrobe and they just scream 70s and Daisy Jones and the Six. I picked up that awesome dagger collar men's shirt. Ugh, such a good pattern. It has, you know, the 70s tan. It's got a great digger collar and it fits me really well. You probably saw me try it on in the video. This is fantastic. I think this is a perfect piece to add to my wardrobe and it really pays tribute to my inspiration. The next piece I grabbed was that tooled leather purse. Now this one was an exceptional good deal compared to some of the other ones I saw there. And honestly, I like this one better. I like how it's rounded. This really, really screams Daisy Jones in the six. Um, she has outfits on that have lots of this like light leather color. And I think this is just perfect, a perfect tribute to that. Now I do think this is a more newer one. It says Mexico and the hardware just looks a little newer. It also sits a little bit wonky. So I'm going to see if I can't, um, store it in a way that is going to stretch it out a little more to help fix that flex different. It really just needs the top to stretch back a little bit. But I thought this was a super, super deal. And yeah, this is exactly the look I'm going for. Also, if you notice, there is a space to monogram this. I think I might need to learn how to tool leather. What do you think? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. There is going to be more videos coming out in this thrift mini series. I hope you stay tuned for those. And if you haven't, please subscribe and ring that bell. Then you'll be the first to know when I next upload for that series. We are going to do thrifting. We are going to uh, go through my closet, purge items. We are going to style outfits. I'm really excited for this mini series and I hope you are too. So that is it, y'all. Stay creative and bye.